I'm going to be um, doing a portrait today of her name is Aislin Derbez. She was Frida on La Promesa. This is a show I got addicted to <clears throat> on Netflix. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to practice portraits because I really haven't been able to, uh, I feel, successfully do a portrait in Photoshop yet. And I'm hoping to change that. Now that I have um, better tools. And I just quickly did an outline of her facial features. I'm going to be doing this in a painting style. <clears throat> so you're not going to be able to see any of the outlines. I have the um, Walmart yodeling kid song stuck in my head, so sorry if I you hear me humming it. Da, 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 da. There's like a remix to it, and it's so good. Okay, I'm just going through right now, and there's these are just different blacks. I'm just kind of like filling in her hair. I do want it to be a little bit, um, I'm adding a little bit of variation in there just for, that's probably not how I'm going to do it in the end. Hair is a challenge in itself. So this is just a portrait study. You know what, I did do a portrait that I thought was successful. It was a Cary Grant. But that one, I I use the reference card a bit, kind of like I'm doing right now, with the colors. All right. Hey, Pegasus! Happy Thursday! How are you today? I hope you are well. All right. So that's our hair layer. I'm just gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna make lots of layers on this. Lots and lots, and I'm going to be adding her highlights. I already have the darkest skin tone as the background, so that saves a little bit of time. All about saving time. I don't know what's going on. That's not how it's supposed to look. Alright, obviously it was too high. Let's go to like 7. I'm just going to kind of like subtly add this in. There's a little bit. And it's right here, the dome of this skull. And then she has like a really adorable nose. Like she's like the most pretty person I think in the world. I'm not sure if she's Hispanic or she's Indian. I think she might be her Hispanic because her last name is Derbez. Oh, you had a late night? What are you doing? Are you playing games? Yeah, I feel that. I am. Um, time I went to bed but it was too late I'm, like so bad about that I get so hyper at night I'm gonna have to start streaming at night because that's when I'm like really freaking hyper during the day I'm like all lethargic and kind of like chill but at night I'm like ah let's do it um, this is not turning out as good as I had hoped I'm going to keep adding it all right now I'm gonna add the contour. Start adding a little bit of whiteness around here. Kind of connect your face a bit more. Do 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 do. And there's like a, I'm going to turn it up the opacity just a tad, about 20%, just to kind of get it started a little bit faster than the... I'm just going through and a bit of highlights. 
Alright. And I'm going to kind of blend out the cheeks a little bit. So, a bit bulby. Alright. I'm just going to grab some of her skin tones and just add in them. Like I did with the hair. And I might need to take this layer down. Oi! What have I done to her face? She's a crazy face. Okay, I'm just gonna... I went a little too excessive on the eyes, so I'm just gonna start over on that part. Or I can leave them dark for now and focus on them in a moment. Once I get this skin tone down, I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to go again and add another layer just because it's kind of, uh, I really like what I did there. Bloodborne on stream for about five hours. Holy shit, that's a hell of a freaking stream. Hype. Rage. Woo. That's awesome, dude. Did you end up um getting far? Man, I think what I'm doing is I am using a hard brush, aren't I? Dang it. Um, I'm gonna use like a really not hard brush. It's too hard. Why is this not working? What am I doing wrong here? I'm gonna get closer. Get closer. I'm gonna draw her eyebrows on. And that actually can be in a hard brush. I'm just gonna be lazy and turn that up. Do her eyebrows and then I'll start painting her eyes. Maybe that'll make it look. I'll worry about those eyelids later because I'm just like hyper focusing on those. That's crazy, dude. Five hours. Holy shit. How many viewers did you get? I bet you got a lot. And I figured out something interesting because I was looking up how to get more viewers on stream last night. And if you have like more viewers, they put you higher up the top. I didn't know that. I know that now. She's so pretty. This girl is gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna go and I'm looking at the reference a little bit better. And she has like these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous like, cat green eyes. I think her nose and her eyes are my favorite. And she has pretty lips. Like she's just gorgeous all around. You have to see La Promesa. It's about sex trafficking. She gets kidnapped and sold to the sex trade. If you like messed up movies, I love messed up movies. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of red tinge around her eyes because I feel like that's a good color to really bring out um, the green. It's also the eyeshadow color she chose. And then there's a little bit of hair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to go back with a black because she has eyeliner on. And really define these gorgeous cat like eyes. Man. Her and Rihanna, I swear, they got all the pretty. That's the only song I heard today, so y'all are gonna hear that a lot. Sorry, I can't. Like, there's a they made like a meme for this the Walmart yodeling guy, 
and somebody like jumps off of a building and then they land and they start twerking on the ground like doing the splits and I cannot get it out of my head like that's I have become the Yodel Remix I'm just going through adding that um, okay, hello. How are you today? Oh, hell yeah. You got some clips? Yeah, I will. Totally. I'll check them out. Uh, an, an amigo? <laughs> oh, man. I am wonderful. Thank you. I'm just doing a bit of painting today. Just doing a bit of painting. This one I just started from scratch just now. So y'all get to see the whole entire process. Oh my gosh, I'm going to annoy myself with that, sorry. I might go back and rewatch my stream and be like, what the fuck was I doing? Why am I like this? I'm just adding a outer rim of her eye. I think I probably told you guys this before, but apparently women who have like a strong outer rim on their eye are more attractive to men. Or anyone, I think, for that matter. It's like a sexy quality. And she has actually a bit of um she has green eyes with the dark green outer rim and it looks like i'm looking at the reference right now and it looks like she has like a golden um explosion in there so i'm gonna add a bit of a gold explosion and we're gonna go i want something saturated it's not orange it's not brown That might be two. It's darker than the eyeshadow. So I get the eyeshadow and then just go a little bit darker. Okay. There we go. Uh, just do a little explosion here. I'm going to add the pupils after. I work out the eye because I sometimes I like do the pupils several times. So I just decided I'm going to do it on a separate layer. And they're actually more green than that, if you can believe that. Like so on the outside. And there's like a pale green, and then the brown comes out. Like so. I'm trying to get it right. I'm not sure the level of detail I'll be able to achieve in this painting, but I'm ho hoping that it gets more and more detailed. It might be hyper realistic. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be down with that. And then there's like almost like a little bit of blue. Just a tiny little bit of blue in there. I'm telling you, she's got a crazy gorgeous eyes. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of blue towards the edges. I'm going to kind of like saturate it a little bit more. And then I'm going to add a little bit more gold. Just coming out kind of like the the way it does nice. You know how it's like a, has those little lines that go to the outside. My eyes look like volcanoes. All right, and then I'm going to add her pupils. <clears throat> And she has a lot, a lot, a lot of shine in her eyes right now. And this um, reference I'm using. It's going to be too small. And she looks like her pupils are kind of tiny. Uh, I'm not happy with that because I don't feel like it's hard enough. So let's... I think they're that... Actually, they are that small. 
actually doing this with my mouse. And let me see if I... <clears throat> yeah, they can be that small. Okay, so these are her pupils. And then I'm going to add the whites. The whites of your eyes. And I'll get back to the chat in just a moment. Sorry, guys. Balls deep in art. <laughs> Alright. Try to get some of this shine all the way over here, all the way over here. Oops, put a little white on her nose. There we go. Let's see. Let me turn that down a bit. Or maybe play with the layer. It goes over the pupil. Not all of it. And then this one's bigger for some reason. Ah! Too far, too far, too much. Alright, let's see here. A wee bit of painting. Yes. I mean, I, I've been wanting to play Fortnite. I just like, I'm so excited to have this Wacom now and I want to get better. I feel like that's a green. Why is that a green? I don't want it to be green. I want it to be uh, brown. It was a green. That's weird. Let me go back. Oh, that is a soft brush. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna add... Oh, shit. I forgot to change my... Add a new layer. <clears throat> And the whites of your eyes aren't actually like pure white, so I'm gonna make them gray. It's a little too blurry, isn't it? Not so little too blurry. We're gonna have to go to the hard brush now. Jesus. <laughs> My hands are a bit shaky today, so don't know why. Probably because I drink a lot of coffee, and I made bad decisions last night. All right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go and just fix those little tinges where I messed up. Friend amigos. Awesome, sweet. <clears throat> There's this one streamer I like. I forgot her name, but she does these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, digital paintings. And uh, last night I went to go watch her, and she was playing like a game. And I was like, "No, don't play games. You're too good. Go back to art." <laughs> <clears throat> She's pretty cool. I'll have to um, remember her name and tell you guys to check her out. So on the inside of the eye, it's a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go in and add this part. It's a little bit of variations in there, you know? The more variations, the less cartoony it'll look, which is cool. That's what I'm going for. I don't want it to be super cartoony. Going for something a bit different today. Thank you, by the way. Very nice of you. I really enjoy doing art, so I imagine that it just like puts me in a good mood. I get like really, really grumpy if I don't do art every day. In fact, it, like it's kind of like um uh, like a prescription for me. I used to have like a lot of anxiety and depression. I still do, but I work with it. I work out a lot, and then. I have to, you know, do art, be creative, several hours a day, and it actually stays away. Mm -hmm. And I can't eat sugar, but I can drink beer for some reason, but I don't know if that helps. Still thinking about quitting beer. 
even though I love it. I think I went a little crazy on her bottom lashes. It's fine. It's fine. She's fine. And I forgot to draw her lower lid. That might come back and bite me in the butt later. And let's see if I can get this nose. It's, um, she's got like a lot of freckles. She's so adorable. Oh my god. Oh man, oil painting? I'm gonna have to check that out. I actually haven't seen anybody doing oil paints on stream yet. Dude, that sounds awesome. There's like some really cool people out there. Man, I was watching like uh, funny compilations of Twitch videos. Like people who forgot to turn off their camera. And like one girl set her house on fire while she was doing a cooking stream. It was like really inspiring <laughs> last night. I was like, hell yeah. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. A lot of like wardrobe bloopers with the girls accidentally showing their butts or their um, boobs. I don't know if it's an accident though, I think they probably did it on purpose. Then there's one uh, YouTube videos like crazy moms and like moms just yelling like so hard at their kids. Like you eat now. <laughs> one mom was yelling because <clears throat> apparently the kid ate too many snacks. And he was sitting at his computer eating ramen or something. But he was also streaming and playing video games. So I guess he wasn't eating fast enough for her. Oh man she was fucking pissed. It was hilarious. She must have been having a terrible day. I don't even know why she was mad about that. <laughs> <laughs> now the whole world knows her crazy parenting techniques. <laughs> oh man. What a day we li what a age we live in. I'm trying to draw her teeth without giving her buck teeth. It already looks like she has buck teeth though. I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, uh. Friend amigo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that for now. Did I make a new layer? I did make a new layer. Cool, so I'm starting to kinda see it's not it's not complete yet, but I do see a little bit of resemblance in there. That's cool. Because I did I captured that the eyes. And the teeth are not captured, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna uh, go through and do her face a bit more. Alrighty then, look at this fancy fox right here. So this is where we're going. This actually has a, um, it looks like it has like some kind of Instagram filter or something on it. So I'm, the reference I'm using doesn't have that. It's just the regular version. Let's see. Let's bring Frida forward. Or I mean, um, Aislinn. Sorry, I'm so used to calling her Frida. I watched like 47 episodes of that while previous that show. <laughs> and then I think they took it off. I'm not sure. It's so good though. It's crazy good. There's like these people that run the sex trade or whatever, and the FBI's chasing them. And then one of them that's like a main one. Or was a girl that turned started dating the boss guy. She finds out that they accidentally kidnapped her daughter that she gave away. So they were about to pimp out her own daughter. And it was her that was going to pimp her out. It's so drama. I gave her a mustache. That's not what she looks like. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can get like a blending la layer. Oh. Alright. I do like that, but I don't like that there. <laughs> oh, 
gosh, it looks beautiful. It's exactly, it's exactly what I wanted. Not really. This would be a nice blush color for her. Like her cheeks. Mm, let's turn that down a bit. Man, with portraits, I noticed it's really like about like really tiny, um, almost transparent layers over and over and over again. That's what I'm working on. I'm going to have to blend these out a little bit. And this is still too high, so I'm going to bring it back. Okay. There we go. And she's... I just made her a little bit darker than she is. I still need to lighten up her, her skin color. Is it weird having the camera up there while I work down here? Should I move the camera? Should have two cameras. Double time. I'm not sure about this dress. I got this dress, but it has like really wide shoulders. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to get on here. All right. I'll stop being self-conscious. All right, I'm going to go now with very, 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 very lightly. Like, I'm going to literally have the opacity down on this as 25. And then I'm going to have the opacity on the brush itself as 11. And I'm going to go and add... Um, I have to be careful because the other day I pushed a button and I couldn't unpush it. And I forgot how I did it. Oh, yeah, I can I can fix it. I, got, I accidentally turned on precision mode. And it like totally freezes up the entire computer, like the entire PC. And this is like, this is so subtle. This is great. This is what I needed. I needed just something where I could just kind of like go crazy and, and not look like a mustache or something. And speaking of mustaches, let's put a little bit of highlights on those lips. Goodness, now I gave her a mustache for real. And this is just, um, just going through, trying to make her overall, her skin tone turn a little bit whiter without, like, doing it very subtly. Subtly. Mm. <laughs> you think the camera's fine? <laughs> oh, thank you. I just, I see my stream and it's like, I'm like all huddled over here. Like, camera's up there. It's fine. I tried to hang it on the wall today, but then the little thing I was going to hang it, oh, the little thing I was going to, um, I was using those, what do you call those, like push pins? And I was like, I don't think this is a good idea. This is going to fall. Goodness gracious. I'm so sorry, guys. I cannot get it out of my head. It's the only thing I heard today. I could try to put on um, a Twitch friendly playlist, but like last time they, they cut me or they muted me. So I'm like so scared too. I don't want to be muted. I want my voice to be heard. Now I'm going and adding a bit of the shadows in there. Just enjoying the process. I think if you enjoy what you're doing, it comes out better. This is a lot of fun. It actually gets quite a bit darker here, so I'm gonna gonna focus on seeing how dark I can make this. <laughs> You're offended? Are you offended? 
What did I do? Did I say something? <laughs> I know you're joking, but I don't know what I said. I'm offended by uh, me butchering this beautiful woman's face. Your art is offensive. <laughs> Your little em emotes are so cute. I gotta get on that. Oh, yeah. I just don't want to be annoying. I'm really good at being annoying. Like if At least I think I am. I don't know. I kind of soften up this edges. I'm going to kind of sit up too because I'm like all scrunched over. It's like the one time that I actually need my chair to be lower. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh, yeah, go. There we go. Oh, man, this is like another level here. Another level of comfort. Oh, man, yeah. This is the setup. Oh, man, my back feels so nice now. I didn't realize I was giving myself a hunchback. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue. I love how black hair turns blue and light. I think I'm just like, you know how everyone like likes the opposite? Like I so wish I was like, I had dark skin and dark hair. But no, I'm as white as an albino. And a lot of girls I know that have dark hair and dark skin, they want to have light hair and black skin. Nobody's happy with what they look like. I guess I'm getting there. Alright. Ooh. My friend has a crush on this chick. Um. Ah! So he's gonna like this painting. I think he has such a crush on her. I watched the show. I made him watch the show La Permissa with me. And, uh. Then he, like, the next time he got a girlfriend, her name was Frida. Like, he was obsessed. To the point where fantasy became a reality. I think he just watched it because of her. <laughs> I don't know if he was actually interested in the dr It's like a really big drama. Oh, no. There's only one problem. So they can't reach the keyboard whenever it's like this. Here we go. No mistakes. Make no mistakes. Aw, you're so sweet, Plague of Souls. I swear. You're like the nicest person ever. You wish you had blue or green skin? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. I'm down with it. Like that one guy, um... The guy that was really intelligent in that one movie. <laughs> That's like the worst reference ever. Um, it's a superhero movie. He could multiply himself. I think his name was like Dr. Universe or something. I don't remember. Was it Watchers? I believe it was Watchers. He was blue. He pulled it off really well, actually. So I could see that. You'd probably pull, pull off blue skin. Yeah. Or like Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, her. She was green, wasn't she? That one chick. She's hot, too. I might have to do a portrait of her as well. Hmm. Goodness, I went a little crazy with the uh, darkness. Okay, let's go. Let's bring it back in. <clears throat> Oops. Bringing it back in. Alright. Dr. Manhattan, that's right. Oh, I didn't mind the not clothed part. <laughs> that was perfectly fine with me. 
<laughs> and Gamora. Yes, yes, yes. You know all this stuff. I'm like terrible with names and I feel like like on the spot I can't remember anything. Like I try to have a conversation sometimes and I swear it's like <sighs> not all there. All right. I blame it on too many art tutorials. Like I just you can only retain a certain amount of information in your brain. And I just do tutorials all the time, so I'm always learning new things and I think it just replaces so much. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and add her little eyebrows, hairs. That's what I blame it on. Not the fact that I have a bad memory. And I had probably killed my brain cells. Yeah, she's cool. She said when she was filming that movie, like, she could not get on, um, blue... She's green. She couldn't get the green off of her skin. Man, can you imagine that? Like, working, like, eight months on a job and they just have to paint you, like, green or blue every day? Look at that. That makeup probably took a while. Like, she probably had to wake up, like, at 5 a.m. just to get her makeup done. And then to film, like, a few hours later. That's, like, a lot of, um dedication you know I don't know if I would want to be painted that much I don't think that line's that hard let's go and erase that okay I'm gonna see let's zoom in on the reference and just kind of get a feel of like proportions and colors so excited to be like talking to someone sometimes I feel like a dog I'm like <laughs> like tail wagging and then it's like oh my god I'm making an idiot of myself oh no oh no all right so I love 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 these colors I am going to grab some of my favorite colors and bring them over to my painting and since I'm all zoomed in that'd be better and I don't know if that's a little empty layer I'm just gonna call this colors and I'm gonna grab it since I'm already like zoomed in I can just like pick up some of these lovely flesh colors and then paint them over here so I can like bring them over this is not gonna be on the final don't worry I just want to get some of these gorgeous brown tones Here's some of the pinks this is totally cheating. I don't think you're supposed to do this. They suggest you pick your own colors when you're doing art. Because then you can make it more of your like your own thing. But since this is practice, I am going to be grabbing the colors and bringing them over. And she just has spots in her hair. Tail wagon. Hell yeah it is! I wish I had a tail. So, have you been watching or keeping track of the Facebook thing? I'm like scared to make fun of him on Facebook. I feel like he'll fi he'll find me and shut down my Facebook. But I don't know. I was watching some of those the interviews and everyone's talking shit about the senators, but I feel like they actually have our best interests at heart. And that this dude might have, I don't know if he did it on purpose, but I think he might have sold her information. And it's kind of scary, like, how did another country get her info? I don't really want anyone to know my info. Like, especially if they, like, don't know me or, like, want to possibly harm me. I don't, definitely don't appreciate my info getting stolen. But I knew that when I was getting on there. 
Yeah, he looks like Dada, right? But his, like, mannerisms, like, freak me out, dude. He's just, like, like, he doesn't smile. He just sits like this. And he, like, talks down to everyone. Like, like the, the Congress is, like, they're older, so they're not that good at expressing themselves when it comes to technology. I get it. What they're trying to say, though, is pretty basic, and anyone could pick it up, what they're trying to do. But he's just, like, he'll, like, he's not answering their questions. He's being incredibly elusive. I don't know. It freaks me out, dude. I don't want to delete my Facebook, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, well, this guy might not be the best person in the world to uh, have all of my privacy conversations. Yeah, because this is the part that freaks me out. Is like, I don't really text message anymore. I use Messenger. And that's a bad idea, I think. I think that was a bad move on my part. Because now, like, everyone can see Messenger. Or anyone can... Or he has access to it, and then I guess other people got access to it. And I don't know. The whole trying to, like, get better, like, commercials thing, it is a little freaky. A few times, like, I've been in my apartment or my house and just, like, been talking about something, and an advertisement will come on. And I'm not recording. I'm not on the phone. I'm not a messenger. I'll just say it, and then it comes on. And that freaks me out because that means that, like, somebody's listening. You know, I'm like a big conspiracy theorist, so then shit, like I'm all into that. He does look like a reptilian and half robot. I mean, it's not just like the way he looks; it's like his demeanor and and I I know he's probably annoyed that he's there getting like chewed his ass chewed out, but he's like not a very like I don't know. He just wasn't very nice. To, he didn't seem like he was a very nice person. The poor congressmen, I kind of feel bad for them. Because they're like, they're outside of their mm, expertise. They don't know what the hell they're trying to say. They, what they just, they don't want our information to be public, you know. But they don't really know how to say it. So they keep asking them questions like, well, so you can... It's really funny because some of them will like say like stupid ass questions. They'll be like, well, if I type this in WhatsApp... Can you read it? And he's like, I don't even own that company. There's no way I can read it. And he's like, but they don't know how to like ask. No, I don't even think they know what Facebook Messenger is. <laughs> Poor guys. It's like trying to it like <laughs> their idea is right. I think just the way that they're doing it. I don't know though. I haven't run into anyone who has the same similar um, beliefs or thinks that he's up to something snaky. I don't know. Like, what are you doing? What are you up to, man? Don't sell her info. He already has so much money, though. And then he was talking shit about people because he was saying, oh, it's not enough you give people a way to connect to your their loved ones you have to you know make sure that they're secure and he's just like kind of like talking shit and then he was said that like you know if we didn't want our profile or information out into the world we shouldn't have got on facebook in the first place and it's like dude we freaking pay you you make money off of us it was really cute. I've been, I've been, I'm so intrigued by this. I just feel like, you know, this is a, um, issues that are going to be uh, coming up a lot, actually, like internet security and stuff like that. And I mean, eventually, like, they were talking about how they were going to start putting, like, chips in people. And it's, I know Facebook isn't chips in people, but it's kind of like the same concept, right? Is that you have all your information in one spot on the, on the web and it's, People can access it, and you can't. I mean, this world's turning crazy. It's turning crazy. No wonder people run away and hide in the woods. Yeah, I don't blame them. Yeah, totally. Definitely. But he's taking the fall for it. I believe his 
His wife was a co-founder, and he's just taking the rap. I thought that was, that's kind of gentlemanly. So maybe he's not all bad. Maybe he just comes off. I mean, he is on trial, so that would be, I would be scared too. And I might be a little bit robotic or scared or something. You know, you can't really, you don't know how you're going to act when you're under pressure. So I'm not being too hard on the guy. I mean, obviously he's like a genius. I wish I would have made Facebook. Alright. I did the nose a little too light. So I'm going to go back and erase it with a... Just erase it just a little bit. And that just... So it's still there, but not as... In your face. I don't want a chip inside of me that has my money, though. BRB. All right, cool, man. I'll be here. I might take a little art break in a moment. But I'm going to keep streaming until at least, like, 2.30. Conspiracies. Alrighty, I I like how it's going. I feel like my um drawing makes her look like a little bit like flat faced though. She looks like she has a flat face, and she doesn't really have a flat face. Alright, so let's I'm gonna do these little probably lighten this. funny because we do this with makeup <laughs> and don't do it in a drawing it's kind of funny that's cool man that's like makeup is art all right i'm gonna lighten that and i'm gonna turn it probably to a soft light i think soft light is what you, it's gonna work best yeah it does it works best i'm gonna turn it down just a tad and I'm actually going to duplicate it because I want, she's still darker than her, than the reference. Ah! There we go. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to take... In the picture, there's a blue background. I was hoping that if I change the background color, maybe that would make it look whiter. It, it didn't, but it is in a new background. Really see what I'm doing there, but hopefully that's covered in. And then I want like the most subtle lightness. Let's see that color. I'm gonna get a big brush this time and change the opacity down quite a bit, just where the light hits her head. I think this is going to have to be um, turned down as well. Oi! 
Yeah, I might have done that a little bit, uh, too loose. Ooh, I like that color. Alright. I will get the subtle lightness of this. Welcome back! I'm trying to figure out how to lighten her skin without, like, making her face look flat. So far, not so much. It's not working so much. I gonna try to reach over there. It's hard. There we go. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Use your air. Yeah, it's like that white, but it's just like I wanted to do it kind of slower on my painting. But oh well. Just turn it down. starting to look like a Barbie. She does look like a Barbie. Alright, I'm going to turn this down to 31%. It's starting to go there. Okay. Just going to keep building on this. There is extreme highlights right there. I need to look. I I can always go back and make it look more blendy. I'm going to define the area around her eyebrows. And then just go and bump down the opacity again and slowly start to bring in those light colors without being overbearing like it was originally. Okay, cool. Well, it looks better on my Wacom than it does on OBS. Alright. Let's see, what is next? I think I could do a bit more details on those eyeballs. And really give it some character. I like what I have so far. Let's just bring the reference down. Maybe. Oh. And hold shift. Just to keep. Alright, and I guess I'll work on the left eye because that's the only eye I can see. <laughs> Alright, now that I'm zoomed in, I see that um, the whites of her eyes aren't even like all the way filled in yet. It's no biggie. Hmm, excuse me. Goodness, I got the carrot burps. Alright. I ate some carrots before I started streaming. I was watching uh, the show, like, Unique and Different Ways to Die. I think that's what it's called. And some guy, like, ate too many carrots. And then he took too much vitamin A. And he turned orange. And then he had kidney failure from vitamins. Now I'm kind of scared of vitamins because vitamins never make me feel the way they're supposed to make me feel. So now I don't, I don't know. I was like trying to take vitamins, but I just like to eat fruits and vegetables. I don't think, I think if you eat enough of those, then you don't really need um, extra vitamins. I'm not sure though. I'm not a doctor. Right? He was trying to be healthy. Shit pisses me off. No, one girl, she died because she went to a motel and she was wet because it was raining. And she used her key card 
and the door and the door electrified her because the AC had a faulty wire and it was sending electricity to the door and she just got stuck on the door and was like writhing on the ground and she died too. Everyone in that show dies. But you know what that show has taught me is that you really can't escape death because these people die in crazy like I didn't even think it was possible ways you know. Let's see what was that? Sh it's like called it's on I think it's on Netflix. Unusual ways to die show. Curious and unusual deaths. Yes, that is what it's called, and it is so weird. <laughs> but like, I used to be scared. Like, I'm a, I'm kind of paranoid. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Like, I don't know. I always get kind of scared, paranoid about that. But after watching the show, it's just like, okay, whatever. Like, if it's my time, it's my time. Cause <laughs> those people, like, it's like you know, like death was coming for them no matter what. There's really nothing they could have done. Like, how are you going to die checking into a motel? Like, and the girl was trying to work, too. She was trying to be, like, a saleswoman. And she had just got back from work, knocking on doors, and she didn't make any sales, so she was all depressed. She's probably hungry, and she checks into her little hotel and dies. It's, like, crazy. There's all kinds of weird ones. There's one where this guy liked to dip his um, gum into citric acid. And then he accidentally dipped it into the wrong chemical and he exploded. His jaw blew off. I used to like those silly shows. A Thousand Ways to Die. I still watch the new Curious and Unusual Deaths. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I try to stay positive. I don't know. I don't, like. It's really easy to get like freaked out. I guess I'm kind of scared to die. I just, like, I'm trying to come to terms with it. Like, it's going to happen, you know? So you might as well accept it and enjoy it instead of being worried that it's going to happen. Instead of thinking about it. Like, you can stress yourself out, but then if you stress yourself out too much, you might not enjoy yourself. As much. It's unfortunate that it has to happen but I think it gives us a new opportunities to grow and learn new things like maybe death isn't the end maybe it's just the beginning like what if this whole time we thought oh you die and then nothing happens and you don't get to live anymore but what if like that's the when life actually starts who knows we don't know and I like to think think so some of my family members have passed away, and I like to imagine that they're still out there, just maybe in another dimension or something, or in another planet. <laughs> right? Exactly. You gotta enjoy the moment. It's really easy to get stressed out, though. Like, yesterday, I was really, really down on myself. But, you know what? I went running on the trail, and I sat in the sunshine for a little while, and I realized that life is really good. I'm alive and it's gorgeous. I'm in my favorite town. <clears throat> Doing what I love. I have supportive friends. Life is good. It's easy to let that stuff get you down though. Right? It is. Whole circle life kind of sucks, though. I don't like that at all. <laughs> like, I'm really close to my grandparents, so I get really worried about them. And They're always talking about death. They're, like, obsessed with it. I guess they're trying to desensitize themselves from the fear of it. Because they talk about that a lot. Like every time I see them. They're like, I'm on my way out. <laughs> That's literally like the, what my grandma said to me. I said goodbye. I'm on my way out. 
<laughs> like, no? <laughs> Please, no? It's funny. My grandma's really, really cute. She's a sassy old lady. I love it. <laughs> she loves me a lot, though. It's sweet. Oh, they adopted me. I'm actually, like, adopted. Like, the only person, like, my, um, pretty much my whole family is just have adopted me. Except for my mom. She stuck around. She's a badass. All right. Control Z. <laughs> I'm on my way out. And it was cute too. Cause she's like, take care of yourself. I'm on my way out. Like she meant to like all loving. <laughs> she's such a character. She is. My friends used to, uh, we used to laugh all the time because uh, one time she showed up and she was, I think she was trying to like bring me a McFlurry or something. She was sweet. Whenever I used to live closer to her, she'd always bring me stuff like during the day. Like she'll bring me a sandwich if she goes out. And uh, she brought me a McFlurry. And she's like, I can't be a 10 every day. <laughs> like, it was funny. She told, like, my friend that. I was, they were, We laughed about it for, like, years. All right, cool, man. Have fun. Have a good day. Thank you. You have a great remainder of your day as well. And thanks for logging in. I'll talk to you soon. All righty. Oh, well, I'm gonna. I'm about to check out too. I didn't realize what time it was. I was just having a, a grand old time. Bye, Plague of Souls. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna. If you stream today, I'll I'll be on your site so I can check you out. See you later, alligator. Oh. Oh, I gave her buck teeth. Let's see here. She's still too dark. Hmm. I'm going to lighten her up again. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful color. Oh, it looks so good. Let's see if I can blend this in. Not make it look like I just painted triangles on her face. Even though I did just paint triangles on her face. I'm going to have to re-add her blush. And I don't know why my nose looks... Like her nose is cute. My nose is... Uh, I don't know. Lighten it up a bit. And I'm going to go back with her lip color actually and draw some blush on. Life hack, girls. If you don't have blush, you can use your lipstick. Alright, and I don't like... I like the color that I'm adding here, but it's going over my eyelashes. So I'm going to move this layer back. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to bring out her mouth in a subtle way. And I think I'm still gonna need more eyelashes. Cause her eyes are so have so much darkness. I 
there's even like a a little subtle gray of her eyeliner I'd like to add let's see where is it that color let's put a little bit of that in there oh I think I think I'm on a diff too far of a layer does that work oh it does work okay cool I'm just gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow both of these eyes. Oops, I think I did a little too much over here. It's not that much. And you know what I also lost in just going over oh what are you doing? What are you doing man? Alright. I want the color of this crease and I'm gonna go I'm going to change the opacity down to like 26 and I'm going to add this little crease because I, I lost it. Maybe go to Excuse me. I think I'm starting to get hungry. Ah! What have I done? Okay. Never mind. I'm going to go and add a little bit more uh, lightness here underneath her eyelashes. Very subtle. Let's see if I can find this reference and just bring it over a bit. So I want to see this side now. Wait. There we go. Sorry, I looked a little crazy, guys. Um. Oh, so the reference I have it is has that Instagram filter on it. I did not know that. Alright, we're gonna do the crease on this eye now. I think I even got the brush out. Oh, I wish I could see both of them. Okay. Why are you no working? Okay. A little crease. Oh, she even has freckles on her eyelids. Oh, that definitely gives her eyes like a kind of like a sexy vibe. I never thought the crease was like a sexy thing, but I guess it is. All right. Um. Now that I'm looking at her eyes, I do like what I did. I just want to make it look a little bit more um, realistic. So I'm going to go back and add a little bit of color variations in there as well. Just to kind of try to give it like that dynamicness that's in her eyes. And this is like so subtle, but this will make a world of difference. Pay attention to detail and stuff like that. And if any time you're doing a piece and you like start to lose track of time and you're really enjoying it, it's going to turn out really, really nice. It's going to turn out a lot better than if you don't like to do it. I learned that in college, actually. I tried to make all of the projects that we did 
um, as enjoyable as possible. Now, a lot of people ask me, am I trained in art? I w do have a bachelor's in fine arts, but I went to school for animation. And I only took one or two art classes. I just really been into it since I was younger. It was more of like a technical degree. More like computer science than art, really. But they call it art. And I made this too black. I don't know. Oh, it's brown, but it's just so dark. Let's see if we get some of this. I'm going to turn that up. I get some of these darkness the eyebrows. Go back in a little bit more um, eyelashes. Oh, Cleopatra eyelashes. Oh man, it's already 2 30. It's incredible. I'm just gonna go and add some. I am saving room for the eyelid this time. And under this eye as well. There is quite a bit thickness to this. And now I'm going to go and um, try to add a little bit of the hair. This is so cool. This is so much easier for me with this Cintiq. I'm very excited to see what all kinds of art I can come up with. I'm going to grab this color and I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to make my brush less hard. Oh, it's it's not hard at all, actually. It's fine. Just going to kind of grab these colors and put them up here. See if I can get that nose to kind of do what I want. I'm going to turn the opacity down a bit and try to blend this in. A little bit more. Mm, there is a highlight on the inside of her eye that I missed. Oh, that's an important one too. It really livens up the eyes. Okay, and then uh, I guess the whitest part is like so. Let's move that reference because it's like in the way. And this is what I got so far. I'm going to move it up now and work on the bottom part. Because I, I like the the attention or the detail that's developing on, um, on the eyes. But I just need to make, I kind of want to like do it uniform like you know. So let's do the bottom part now. I'm going to try to get... I'm going to try to get that nose. I'm on my 29th layer. I'm just going crazy with layers. I'll go back and fix that when I'm done. Just go and add a bit of white over here as well. Oi! I think that's too white. Alright. I'm going to go with the eraser and just erase it a little bit. <clears throat> and this is at 10%, so I have to um, do quite a few strokes to get it. to lighten and there's a shadow underneath her nose but all this part is pretty light and then it gets really light right here and I'm not gonna um, make this perfect I'm just gonna focus on trying to get the 
the shapes in correctly. And I did her blush too low. Oops. Oops. Alright. I'm going to uh, turn the opacity down on this. That definitely makes like an interesting uh, effect there. Man, somebody left their dog outside on their patio today. They just moved in and they left their dog outside for two days now. So mean. Like, I don't want to complain on them, but I might leave them a note and just say, hey. You know, other people live here. And your dog doesn't appreciate it. I know, because he cries. He's been crying for 48 hours straight. <laughs> your dog told me he didn't like this. I think, like, that's kind of like abuse, isn't it? To have your um, dog on your patio for that long. That's messed up. I mean, I don't... I don't know. I'm like more of a cat person, but even I have a little bit of compassion. I'm not going to just put my dog outside on a patio. It's like stupid. I don't, and I don't want to complain to the apartment complex. Like, I don't know. That's just not, it's not good karma, I don't think. Because I would be so sad. I always get so sad when people complain about me. So I don't want to spread bad energy, but dude, what are you doing? a boy and a girl just torturing this poor dog I was trying to like comfort it last night because it was like crying outside like at 1 a.m. it was just crying and I know it's named so I was over there like oh you're okay Dexter they'll come get you they never came and got him they just left him on the patio he's been out there for 48 hours I've only seen him go to the restroom once it's just bad parenting. Bad fur baby parenting. Alright. Alright, guys. Um, I think this is my stopping point. I really like what I'm doing. The time is just flying by. I'm having so much fun. Uh, I hope that you like it. And I really appreciate everybody for watching and chatting. Uh, Y'all have a good day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Or, you know what? I'm going to try to start coming in at night. But I don't want to make any promises. I can't keep. So I'm not going to say anything right now. But you might see me on here a bit more. Alright. You take care. Bye.